Hey kids! So a lot of you know that I'm a wrestling fan. Oh! Oh! Can you hear that, Duncan son? Can you hear that? Hear what? That is the sound of people unsubscribing because you said wrestling. Anyways, recently I purchased some old school WWF wrestling figures from Yahoo Auction because that's what I like to do with my money. Waste it on old wrestling figures. And today, I am going to show you those figures and maybe talk about the stupid wrestling gimmicks and we're going to see if the toys still work. Okay, I think I'm going to stay out of this one. I don't really want to be associated with you. So let's do that. This fellow here is called Papa Shango. Papa Shango? I think, yeah. And his gimmick is that he is some kind of witch doctor. Obviously this gimmick did not go over so well and he was repackaged as, I think a lot of you might know, the Godfather, whose gimmick was that he was a pimp and that he would come down to ring with his prostitutes. It's kind of sexist, isn't it? Don't really know why I like wrestling now. Let's just see if his thing works, whatever it is. Oh, you can't stand up. Too fucking small. Uh, kind of. This fellow is Bushwhacker Butch, I think. He is one half of the tag team, the Bushwhackers, and their gimmick was the they were from New Zealand. They would lick each other's heads and sometimes some poor kid in the crowd got their heads licked by them and they walked really weird like this. And as my girlfriend is from New Zealand, I asked her if people in New Zealand really walked like this and she responded with... What are you doing? Isn't this how New Zealand people walk? Yeah, that's exactly what we walk like in New Zealand. Now let's see, what does he do? He... He... He stomps! Yeah, that's gonna kill someone. This fellow here is ravishing Rick Rude and he's got a really nice pedo stash and mullet there, that's like super 80s stuff going. And I think his gimmick was that he was a porn star, but they didn't say he was a porn star. So I'm not sure, but he came to the ring with a robe, and then he said, cut the music. And then he told everyone to shut up while he took off his robe, and told all of the men that they were ugly and fat, and that their ladies wanted to sleep with him. <coughs> okay, it works, cool. Okay, this guy is Jake the Snake Roberts, and surprise, surprise, his gimmick was that he brought a snake to ringside and he put it on top of his opponents after he beat them. Yeah, he's wearing snake boots as well, so he obviously really likes snakes, and he's supposed to come with a snake toy, but the person I bought this from obviously lost it or something. Like, dumbass. Fuck you, Lucas! Yeah, still works. Last of all, we have this creepy motherfucker who is called Brutus the Barber Beefcake. He was supposed to come with garden shears or something, I think, because he's a barber and he cuts hair with garden shears. Yeah, I think he was supposed to be a gay barber or something. Not too sure. Now, I don't really understand what his move is supposed to be, but it's really creepy, so get ready for some really creepy shit in three, two, one. I think it's supposed to fly or something, like... Guess it works. So, after talking about the silly gimmicks and realising how racist, sexist and just fucking offensive wrestling is, I... don't really know why I like it. I bet every wrestling fan thinks that, but we still watch it. People equal shit. People equal shit. 